part of the Ethiopian highlands, the Simeon Mountains are found in northern Ethiopia, with ridges at altitudes above 3,600 meters or nearly 20,000 feet. It's home to rigid people and unique wildlife that can only be found here. It's also a location that's been on my mind now for three years. I guess this is the spot. We're having breakfast before we head to Semi Mountains. We have about two hour drive to the town of Kabar. How do you feel about being back in the Simi Mountains? Oh my god. I love it. After you enter the park, there's about a 15 minute drive in. From there, you get to the point where people, most people start hiking. And uh, typically to the first campsite, there's about um, a four hour hike. Uh, and they said it's, it's moderate level, not bad. Um, so that's what we're about to do. We plan and God laughs. We didn't prepare as much as we thought we did. So it's raining. Yeah. In the middle of a hike. <laughs> I wasn't prepared. It's not raining, it's healing. Uh, Secondly, I wasn't prepared <laughs> for the rain. Um, so now we're driving back to our campsite. But it's okay because there's plenty of opportunities to hike. Um, maybe later, uh, but definitely in the morning. Uh, so just rolling with the punches. Fifth, come here. Fifth, come here. Fifth. So we have to sit in the car for an hour or so because we have to let the rain pass. And now the ground is slippery, but we're heading to the campsite. I was about to enjoy my tea, my popcorn, and it's raining. It just started back right It just started, so. Are you having fun? I am. <laughs> a little bit chilly, but I'm, I am fun, having fun. Good. Mm -hmm. There are many highlights in the Simeon Mountains. The main two being the landscape and the wildlife. The wildlife include the gelada monk, ba monkeys or baboons? Baboons. Gelada <laughs> baboons. <laughs> And uh, the panther also lives here. Uh, a red fox lives here. And, uh, and also hyena, yeah. And also several, um, several species of birds. Um, so I'm hoping we see all of them. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Okay. Can you go to Sarabita? I'm not so, I don't want to cut some music. Let me show Sage. you. Sage. Hey, I was going to ask you. Sage? <laughs> like a wild sage? I barely smell it. Because you know it's stuffed up. You still cannot say your name. That's can't not true. You me too, can, I can't say his name. Yeah, I cannot <laughs> pronounce your name. That's not true. Uh, 
beetroot. It's amazing. Not a lot of oxygen in the air, but it's still very clean. Oh my god! Okay. That's a Jumbar waterfall, the longest waterfall in Ethiopia. It's 530 meter deep. I guess this is the spot. Look at this bird. <laughs> Fifi. Um, we've been through a lot of things together. <laughs> I think it turned out well. <laughs> Are you crying? No. Well, that's pretty much it. We hope you all enjoyed. We would like to thank our generous Patreon members, Samuel Holmes and Bei Duang. Your support really helps this channel grow. If you made it to the end of this video, we want to thank you as well. And we would also like to ask you to like this video so that we can reach more people. Okay, so we hired a tour guide to make the whole process a lot easier. Our tour guide, Sahale, took care of us the entire trip. He hired a cook, scout, and driver with his own car to accompany us the whole duration. 
If you do go with the tour guide, the cook position isn't a necessity if you plan on bringing your own food. So Holly's information is in the description if you're curious. Since we were already in Gondor, it was only a two hour drive to Debark where we picked up our cook and scout. Typically, most people visiting the mountains hike its trails with their guide and scout. I had to stop editing to attempt to make this point clear to y'all. If an Ethiopian says a hike isn't bad, it's, it's probably bad, it's probably hard. Uh, they're used to the, the high sea levels and I, I'm not. So I was struggling the whole time, like even like simple hikes. You're sweating. Yes, I know. It seemed challenging. So just keep that in mind. If you come here and hike, it, it's probably gonna be challenging. We highly recommend hiking as it's the best way to experience the views and wildlife. Oh my God. You have the option for camping equipment, which we ended up having to pitch inside an interesting building filled with beds. Also, the park has lodges if camping isn't your thing. So yeah, that's it for the trip details. If you have any questions, please voice them in the comments and thanks for watching y'all. Yeah.